Good morning for all lecturers and good morning for all fellow students. Uh, today, I would like. Uh, eh, first of all, um, let me introduce myself. My name is Nani Priyandi. Um, what comes to your mind when you see these pictures? Uh, supermarket. Why is this? Uh, in supermarket, we can buy a lot of food or beverages that we need. Uh, but I have uh, story that last week, I go to supermarket with my friends. Uh, when I went to supermarket, uh, we, we want to buy some drinks. Uh, and we go to this session, uh, this spot that sell uh, drinks, a lot of drinks that contains of uh, an alcohol. Um, and when we want to choose the alcohol, uh, we, we saw a size that only 21 that prohibited to buy, to purchase the alcohol. Uh, and we think that why we are uh, cannot purchase the alcohol when we already have we already have uh, our identity card and license to drive. So today I will <laughs> minimum drinking minimum legal drinking age should be lower. Uh, I just this because uh, I think people believe that most of most of people believe uh, teenagers uh, don't have responsibility enough to drink an alcohol because of this this one and even worse this one. Uh, but I think uh, it can cost to everyone. Not only uh, teenagers, but also uh, adolescents that uh, already reach 21 plus. Um, and then, let's talk about regulation. Based on Peraturan Menteri Perdagangan Indonesia, uh, Article 34, Direct Seller of Alcoholic Beverages and Retailer of Alcoholic Beverages prohibited from selling drinking beverages class A, B, and C except to Indonesian citizen over the age 21 years as evidenced by identity card resident and citizen of foreign dog. And this is pro and con based on pro-con.org uh, that I've searched on internet. It is state 18 is the age of adulthood in the United States and adults should have the right to make their own decision about alcohol consumption. And second, alcohol 8 to 20 years old to drink alcohol in regulated environments with supervision will decrease unsafe drinking activity. And the con is, the contract is lowering MLDA or minimum of legal drinking age 21 would be medically responsible and the second point is minimum legal drinking age 21 allows reduce the number of underage drinkers but in spite of uh, this pro and con I have a uh, little uh, bear with that we maybe can change your mind about drinking alcohol first Drinking alcohol can get us a healthy heart. Crazy, right? Beer and wine have natural antioxidants called phenols, which help protect against heart disease and lower the risk of hypertension. So, uh, drinking alcohol with uh, is not drinking alcohol when you are not too much drinking it, uh, it will make you. Here. And second one is become a genius. Become a genius. Uh, drinking is definitely not going to turn us into instincts, but about does help your, our brain sharp. Uh, be, 
because alcohol contains an ethanol that help neurons in the brain resist wear and tear that can lead to Alzheimer and dementia later in later life. And the third point is look younger longer. Drinking is not known for helping people look their best, but special antioxidant wine such as phytochemical and resist factor can increase inner energy level and combat signs or of aging. And last point is it helps it helps prevent against the common cold. The Department of Psychology of at Carnage Mellon University Command found that while susceptibility to common cold was increased by smoking, moderate alcohol consumption led to decrease in common cold cases for non-smokers. So, in my conclusion, uh, uh, if government or drinking legal is drinking alcohol, uh, we can, uh, we, if they drink with responsibility, it will be good for them because that uh, benefits that I have told you, and the top and drink alcohol because alcohol is the cause and of and solution to all of life's problems. Thank you. Is there any uh, 